everyone. How are you today? I am working on another page for my journal. And I decided to try um, something that I had seen. Treasure Books has a video on this kind of uh, tuck spot. Um, I guess you call these pockets, I'm not sure. So while I was sitting watching it, you know, I just had a little piece of paper and kind of did it out. Um, so what I'm gonna try to do is adapt this to my page. I'm going to try this. I never use my scrapbook papers and I've got like two buckets full of them. And I'm gonna try and I know this will sometimes when I fold it, it uh, cracks. But I don't know if that's a bad thing because it's not necessarily torn and it's not gonna stay because these are gonna be stuck down anyway so it's gonna hold in place. So I'm gonna give it a try either way. If it cracks and is ruined and I don't like it, I will just toss this, <laughs> you know. Well, not really toss it because I'll just tear it up and use it for collage somewhere else. So this is a 12 by 12 and it is obviously going to be too big uh, for my page because I think my page is, oh, come here ruler, probably like five-ish. Five and a half ish. Um, so, what would the bath be? If that's five and a half, we don't want the whole page covered, so that's five. So, ten. I'm gonna go with ten. <laughs> My math and figuring these things out is not the best. Before I get too confused on everything, let me get this out of the way. Here. That holds my spot. I'm going to cut this part off. I'm going to do it this way. So, hopefully, um, this shows you that um, everybody struggles a bit. You know, I read a lot of comments on different posts and different videos that people aren't sure how to do this or people aren't sure how to start and it's like you're not alone <laughs> you know everybody struggles a bit what you see on the professional videos not done by me <laughs> um, they have practiced so that they can get their uh, video done in one shot and you know so they're showing you the best and I um, like to sh just film myself making it so I remember how to make it the next time. So I am not about perfection and a uh, professional thingy. I'm just a crafter, just like you. And I just go with it then. Oops, kick my new drawer storage, it's in my way. <laughs> So she folds it up. She said you could either fold it that way or like halfway up, depending on how you want that other little accent. I'm gonna try for it all going and see how that works. Now this is gonna be really thick. So right away I'm wondering if I'm using uh, something wrong. Because four layers is like really thick. It's gonna be really heavy, even though this is 28 pound. And that's gonna be folded, and that's gonna be folded. Let me go and find an, uh, something that is not this heavyweight, you know, cardstock from my scrapbook pile, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to try a sheet of this. Um, it's not going to break my heart if it doesn't work. This is, you know, thinner paperweight. And this is uh, Kirby T. Still Studio. I got this at Hobby Lobby. So we're going to try that instead. Now, the only thing is it's not two-sided. So I will have to do some decorating. But is this the right size? No, so I still have to make it. 10 inches. Let's cut off that part. 
So we're not gonna see a whole lot of the pattern piece. And we'll see how it looks. Okay, so you fold it inside, because you have to decide, okay, you're folding down pieces, what do you want to see? And I can ink up this, because I don't think I want this. And then this will be folded, and then these will come down. Decisions, decisions. Well, I've got more than one piece of this, so we will see. That's what I have to do sometimes. I'm gonna give it a really light um, because it is thin. So that will fit. I think I can move this out of the way. And line up the best I can. Let's see. I'll give it another. Okay, so it looks funny because this is so much wider than this. And do I really want it this wide? Because this is part's gonna be open. So they'll be able to pull things up, but they won't be able to pull things out. But you don't need to pull things out. And let's see. You're just gonna be a guinea pig here. And then you're next. And then like you're next. And then you're next. <laughs> uh, what is supposed to be the focal point? That's, I guess that's what I'm thinking of. Is this supposed to be the focal point or what you put in? have a tag ready for me. Uh, let's just use you. That's going to be the focal point. And they can all fit. Or is it better if it's thinner? Ah. Um, you know what? Since I have more than one, we're gonna just do it. We're gonna make it a little bit thinner, even though that shows more of the page. And I do have purple, I think I've... I must have done something wrong. Because <laughs> this side of the page was supposed to be green. Ooh, oh, maybe I folded it wrong. So maybe I'm supposed to be... Un momento. <laughs> I do this so much. I get my pages messed up. So, well, you don't match that now. You match, no? Uh oh. What did I do? Did I even do it upside down or something? Because this was supposed to match. Or did I just bring that over? Okay, I wanna make sure I'm doing something right. This can be any color. That's what this is. This can match that. Go right on that, it doesn't matter. All right, change of plan. If I don't know what I'm doing. I'm having fun. I've changed the meaning of struggle, the word struggle. It means now a challenge. <laughs> and I like a challenge. Okay. I can save this for later. Let's see how things work. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I still feel that tickle in my throat. So let's fold down the best we can. <coughs> Excuse me. And 
Okay, I gotta get a drink. I got a drink. It was water. <laughs> I didn't get a real drink. Um, so, I guess just try to do it as straight as you can. Well, I'll keep in mind that you've got two more folds. So get up under there. And I'm trying to keep it straight this way because sometimes you can bend it that way. So, ooh, I can just do this too. So I'm looking at the gauge there, how far apart and how far apart. And that's a little bit straighter there. Try not to clank that down so loud. And she had this one folded too. So, so what I'm looking at is to make sure this is straight. And I kind of like gauging the same amount of space. All right. Um, that looks funny. <laughs> because this isn't decorated yet. So, um, I definitely need to, let's do some edging. Fold it in half, fold it up, and then you just fold down. You need some more there. It goes a Harley. Probably heard it. <laughs> okay. So there. That's what it's gonna look like. Now it is obviously not decorated enough. Now she. You could put a pocket there if you want. Um, did she do that or was that on, I think I'm looking at that. This was another, um, this was by Angela Kerr, another little pocket doodad that I might make. So I'm looking for a piece to put there. Now I can pull from, um, the rest of that paper pad, but I've got all these little thingies that I just bought and bought and bought, and that I'm just never using. And it's okay, so I am just going to speed through this part because it's just too long. <laughs> um, I'm just looking for uh, something to match, trying to decide which way I wanted to go, whether I wanted it to match uh, colors or to stand out like that pink would have um deciding which paper pad to use and i finally decided to go with this i know it's going to match because it came from the same paper pad and i do love these colors um, and i was thinking that it would go with um, the aqua bluish that's already on the background of the page. That's why I decided this piece versus the pink piece. Next, you'll see me just struggle trying to see and figure out how to cover up the parts that I needed to cover. And this part is never easy for me. I don't never know whether to measure it, um, to just tear and rip. Um, to do the whole thing <laughs> so it was just it was time consuming for me it, it really shouldn't have been <laughs> so i'm sure you'll figure out your best way of how to uh, attach these things <laughs> i think i finally decided to just glue a piece down and cut off the excess i think that works well for me a lot of the times and um, 
Because me trying to measure is like well, here and cut there, but then that might not work right. And what if I fold it over? So finally it struck me, just glue it down. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you can see, though, which pieces uh, needed uh, to be covered. And, whoops, going super fast here. I hope I don't make you seasick. But, yeah, I just struggled a bit too much. Um, I don't know what else to say about that. <laughs> but it came out and worked out in the end. So, uh, hopefully, by showing this, it'll show you that um, it happens. Okay. Now what we can do is glue all these into place. We glue these flats down. I think that's safe. Where there's a will, there is a way. <laughs> and last one. thing we need to do you can glue it or you can sew it um, I am going to sew it uh, so I like that look so I'm going to go ahead and sew it down here just to give it that look I've got to leave this part open so that they can slide things in and out easier instead of limiting them this space okay I'll be right back show you what that looks like Okay, so I have sewed around it, and now I'm working on what else do I want for this background. Um, I brought out some pine needle, and I brought out um, this kind of a stamp, and my word stamp. I like to stamp that around, and I found this little lady. I figure she can probably go there. Um, so let me do that first, get the background started, because that I'm more sure of than how I want to decorate. Ooh, shouldn't have done that. I don't want it all over. I'm just never sure how, uh, how much ink some of these have dried out a bit because I haven't used them. Or I've used them. All right. Hold it down for a sec. Okay. And then, with the same ink, let's see. I just love the way it adds something, you know. Let's see if I got it. One there. There we go. Look at that light too. This one's almost done for, but it's still wet. <laughs> I will throw, not throw one out before it's time. All right, you sit over there, and we're going to do a little rip and tear on you. Let's see how you're going to sit on this. If anybody is looking for these pictures, um, I think you can just go to my uh, Pinterest page 
and I have a uh, board that's called Junk Journals, and it's under printables. So I save them all there, um, and then I can print out from there. Well, that might save you a little bit of time from having to search, because it takes me time sometimes to search for one. Um, just wanting something with a certain style that I like. So we need a background there. That is not gonna work. This, I don't think it's... That can work. Do we want... What color do we want to introduce? Because that's too blue. And... I think... Well, the green is there, so... We might think of that. Um, definitely not those greens. They're more lime. Uh, can always leave that out just in case. Depends on what colors um, appeal to me. Oh, haven't used that yet. And we're going to need something to go across the bottom. So do I want, um, I've got some white here. And I've got that color too. That is very vintage. And if that's going to be over there, it feels like she needs something, something longer, because this is going to be glued here, and I can have something hanging down there. Where's my other container goodies? This page I don't have to do vintage. It's just what's uh, what's happening. I might want to brighten it up a little bit. Some kind of label would look nice there. And we have these um, labels. Most of them are, I believe, Tracy Fox. Don't want to bring out a red just to break up all that green. That really matches. Or do I want a green? That blends in so well, doesn't it? And that pops, and that'll you know go with her lips. <laughs> These are the little things, you know, and that kind of goes with that. So I think the other one just kind of blended in too much for me. And I'm gonna think of something else. That really looks nice there. I don't need anything on there. They're just too small. I can do um, like a ticket or something. Something can go there. Just to kind of break up that spot, but space spot. How do you put those two words together? Spot. <laughs> Space and spot together. I think that's okay. So we need to, yeah, let's put you back. Put you, because we're gonna use you. And move you over here, and we can cut you, because we know we're gonna use you. I do want to look up. Grunge these up a bit. I call it grunge for some reason. Grunge and inking and aging. I'm, I'm not sure the proper 
terminology. I think I already did that one, yep. Because I was going to use that the other day. <laughs> and it didn't work out. I was about to throw those away. So let's start with putting this down. How about that? We're going to just glue the two sides. And so I want to use my art glitter glue. That way you've got tuck, 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 tuck. One, two, three, four tucks. Okay. Got to be quiet when I'm gluing. I got to concentrate. <laughs> I can't do a straight line. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to try to center that the best. And I don't know if you can see it, but this page had some overspray when I was spraying. And so I got like really light, uh, really light red spots there. And that actually will, you know, tie into the roses. Otherwise, I would just ignore it anyway. Urgh. There we go. And then I'm going to switch to my fabric tag because I want to lay down this stuff. So this I found at Hobby Lobby. It was actually like on this roll thing, and I didn't even know they had those. So now I'm going to scrunch you up. We can curve you, we can go over. Okay, just get an idea where I want it. Okay. It's sticking to me already, so we don't want you there. Scrunch up. Okay, the more I touch it, the more it's going to stick. And we want this down. Sure. I used to think these were supposed to be the uh, focal point, and you couldn't cover them. But that's not true. <laughs> you can cover them. If it had writing, I assume, you know, somebody wanted to read it. But it could still just be used, you know, to for a background and get covered. So don't be afraid to cover. I have to keep telling myself that every time I do this. Don't be afraid to cover something up. I think we all kind of struggle with collage that way. What can we cover? I could have, could have, should have put that underneath that. I'm not going to risk taking it up, though. It'll still be fine. Get over here. Oh, okay, see, so it didn't matter. I don't know what I was thinking. And then this last piece makes her pretty and lacy. Oh, it's not the last piece because we still have you. And I'm going to do, yeah, got to fit there. When I went to Walmart last week, I needed some groceries. But I also needed some more of this, and thank God they had it. <laughs> they didn't have much else in that craft area. <laughs> I don't know if y'all been looking at the pictures on um, Facebook or whatever, but the fabric is like all gone. My neighbor downstairs, she wanted me to find her some uh, quarter inch elastic because she was making some face masks for her daughters and friends. And they didn't have any, so I just gave her all of mine because I haven't been using them. So, there we go. Now, you know, we have room for a button. <laughs> and 
end. Do we want a green button? Let's see if I can just do a green. I think I've got it. I'm just going to add these little pieces and I think that'll give me enough um, of what my eye likes. I don't know how to explain that. Um, <laughs> I don't know the right word for it. Uh, just make it to where I like it. There we go. Is something about blank spaces and I just have trouble with that even though they look fine I can really get away with not adding anything else um, but we're gonna go for it and that kind of like hides that little corner there that's why I'm justifying it. <laughs> Whoa. Too much glue in one spot. Let me see. Got a piece of acetate there because I saw some want to leak out. Put too much in one spot. Wipe your nose. Ugh, there we go. Got that booger. Whoops, want to come back out. <laughs> Okay, so I think it's done now. Um, later on, I'll probably add some lace to this side so I'll have that peeking out. And cut off this little bit extra. Cut my fingers off. And I think we're gonna call that done. So I know that was rough watching. <laughs> But we went from this little sample to this to make it work on the page. And you know, just tailor it to your style. And um, I hope I didn't confuse you too much. I'll go ahead and put uh, the video from Treasure Books down in um, the description below so you can follow hers. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be a whole lot easier. <laughs> so that is it for this page. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me while I uh, struggle <laughs> and learn new techniques and just have fun. Okay, see y'all next time. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.